Robinson Crusoe. You're reading Robinson Crusoe. My dad oh. loved that book so much. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good book. Yeah, it's very good. H have you read it? Uh, once in like middle school or elementary school, but it would have been the abridged version, so. Have a good rest of your weekend. Hey, um, what are you reading? I'm not. I actually, uh, I came out here to sketch. It's a nice peaceful way to spend your weekend. Yeah, th this is a, it's a really, really cool place. Yeah. You know, um, there's actually some really beautiful trees over there and this cool river, if you're not in a rush. Oh, yeah. That might be fun to draw. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're fine. I'm Jason. I'm Amelia. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, um, have you drawn anything else lately? <sighs> no, nothing lately. And today I'm, I don't know. I kind of want to get the trees, and I really want to get the skyline, but... I don't know, I want to try something different with the river coming through because I kind of want something on this side too. So, I don't know. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> hey, you want to maybe get those people over there too? You think they, you can fit them in? Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> So, what kind of music do you listen to? Oof. I mean, I listen to all kinds of music. I've got, mm -hmm. let's see, Imagine Dragons. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, the Script, The Cure, and I mean, a little bit of Adele to throw in there. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> just about everything. What about you? Punk. I really like folk though. I mostly just listen to a lot of sad music. Sad music? Yeah. You. I could not see you listening to sad music. Well, I do. So. Well, I guess I can vibe with that. Um, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, God, anything artistic. I love painting and drawing. Lately, I've really liked just exploring new places. What about you? You mean other than talk to a stranger in the park? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. I really like hanging out with friends, mm -hmm. playing soccer. I love watching movies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, there's this really nice pond over there with a couple ducks. I, I think that might be really fun to draw. Okay. Well, wait, you gotta finish this drawing first. Oh, no, I'm no, sorry. it's okay. I don't mind. Plus, I can always finish it from memory later, so it's okay. okay. Hey, can I, can I see what you got so far? Come on. It can't be that bad, all right? It's not finished yet. <laughs> This is, this is really good. No, I mean this, no, I'm serious. This is amazing. Thank you. Have you ever thought about being an artist professional? No, no, no. I mean, I, I love doing it. It's just, I don't know. I just feel like if I did it professionally, I would grow to hate it, so. Plus, I don't really care what anyone has to say about my art. Well, if it means anything, I, I think your art is beautiful. Thank you. You wanna go? Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, just this is way. Follow me. Hey, you said that you like traveling, right? Have you ever traveled recently or been out of the country? No, I want to. <laughs> but uh I just never had the money and my friends never wanted to go with me. I didn't want to go. <laughs> but I did go to Hawaii once. That's fun. Uh-huh. Uh, what for? My friend. 
Uh, he was getting married. He met this girl out in Hawaii, so I flew down there for the wedding. Was that recent? No. Uh, it was actually my last year in high school. Oh. Yeah, and I started dating online, and then he moved down there. I wanted to get married. How old were they? 19 and 20. 19 and 20? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doesn't that seem way too young? Maybe, but I mean, they were really in love and they wanted to get married, so... Man, I was a mess when I was 19. If I got married at that age, I for sure would have messed it all up. I just... I think that this whole idea of love in the first place is just... It's really weird. I, I mean, for example, how does love start, right? You've heard the stories about love at first sight, where people just meet each other and they think they know it's meant to be. Yes, yes. I mean, that's what happened to my grandparents. And so my grandpa is in the Navy, right? And he's traveling through Florida and he meets my Nana. And instantly, they both know that they're in love. And 11 days later, they were married. Oh, boy, hey, hey, 11 days? Mm -hmm. 11 days. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me two weeks to try to figure out what color phone case I want. But people can just meet each other and get married in 11 days? <laughs> So, what happened with them? What do you mean? Like, what's the rest of their story? Are they still married, or did they end up hating each other and get divorced? No. <laughs> They're still married, and I mean, they had a bunch of kids, a bunch of grandkids. I like to think that they're still in love. Or maybe, I don't know. They do kind of fight all the time. But don't most old married couples fight all the time? I mean, God, my grandma used to always say that divorce is never an option for them. Just, I think that this whole love thing, it's, it's really weird. Uh, isn't this just a bit strange to talk about with someone you just... <laughs> never mind. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I think I could really really like someone, maybe even love them enough to get married, but, like, don't people change? Uh, does there just come a point where people just can't stand each other anymore? And another thing, like, I've had friends who've been dating for over a year, like, like my friend Ethan, he's been dating his girlfriend Julie for two years now, and he's told me that he's not sure that he loves her. <laughs> uh, they're living together, right? They're, they're, he told her that he loves her, but, but they still doesn't know. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we're just going all over the place now. <laughs> Maybe this is just too strange to talk about with someone that you just met. I don't think so. <laughs> all of my friends only ever talk about work and drama with their friends. I just, I don't know. That is the nonsense that bores me. Not this. I can get behind that. My co-workers spend day in and day out just complaining about their lives. Mm -hmm. It's so annoying. It's... <laughs> huh. Look at me. I'm, I'm complaining about my co-workers complaining. <laughs> a few dollars I just need some money so that I could get me and the little one something to eat I'm I'm sorry I, yeah I, don't... I do here can you hold this thank you thank you so much God bless you both do you just give money out to everybody that asks I usually try to help I mean don't you think that they're gonna try to take advantage of you what if you give someone money and they just go and waste it Maybe, but she seemed to really need it more than I do. I'd probably just waste it on myself. So. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to act like I don't care, but I just I don't think that you can help everybody sometimes. And, and it seems like people are out here just to scam. I, I actually saw this one news story of this guy that got $300 per day of just begging, and he wasn't even really broke. I do think that what you did was really sweet. I just don't give money out sometimes.
Wanna go this way? Yeah. Thanks for stopping me today. Yeah. I'm really glad we met, Amelia. I'm glad too. I had fun today. When are you gonna finish your drawing? I don't know. I'm not really in a rush. I actually have a lot in here that I'm not even close to finishing, so. Hey, uh, do you think that still happens? Your grandparents, I mean. Um, do you think people can still fall in love and stay together for that long? What's so funny? I was just like annoyed at them for finding love. Of course it still happens. I mean, even though the world and technology change, people for the most part stay the same. Somehow they still manage to find love and care about one another. I, I, I'm just not under this delusion that love is this magic cure-all that solves all people's problems. <laughs> It'll be all right. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not frustrated at you. I'm just curious and confused. <laughs> I, I guess I just need to figure life out. It's okay. I'm still having fun. Hey, you mentioned um, earlier that your, your parents are divorced? I mean, if you don't mind me no, asking. No, no, it's, it's fine. I don't really mind talking about it. They, um, we got divorced when I was in high school. And I, I think that's, no, I, I know that's why I'm such a pessimist about this whole love thing. I mean, they got remarried to different people, but they, they don't really seem to be happy. And maybe I'm just being a pessimist here, but I think that there's a good chance that my dad might get divorced again. I don't know, I, I, I just haven't really seen that many relationships work out. Jason, do you think that you could ever truly love and care for someone? I mean, do you believe that you could open yourself up and truly love and care for someone and they could love and care for you? Well, obviously I, I think it's possible. Anyone can pretend for a while. <laughs> it, it's really easy to, for someone to say that they love someone, but to be all in for the rest of your life? <laughs> I, I mean, no, no one can really know if they can keep that promise or, or guarantee that it will last forever. I mean, but isn't that worth the risk, though? Isn't that a chance worth taking that, that you, you sacrifice your life and love for someone and possibly they'll break your heart and maybe it won't work out, but what's the worst that could happen? I mean, you find out that you actually love and care about somebody unconditionally? I mean, is that really such a waste? Well, it is if she takes out the house. I don't know. I really don't know. Well, I don't know either. But... I hope you're right. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I've been waiting for this day that I might meet the one for me But my cynical self can't seem to see the beauty in the breeze Like the wind blows leaves wherever they may go I must believe that I'll arrive at my home with another leaf right next to me Oh, life moves on with or without you and I So take my hand before the end of the night I know that our hearts collide In the end 
will find our way back home. And I know that our lives align when all that's said.